you know, I had a shot at winning the race, and uh, I felt like he ran me off the track. But, you know, you race to win, and he was definitely racing to win. But, you know, you hope that when somebody races to win, uh, that they at least win the race if they're going to wreck you or run you off the racetrack. But uh, it was just a mind-boggling move to me. But uh, I made sure and got him back and made sure my teammate could win the race. Happy for Joey Logano and, and that guy, uh, their team to get two wins. They've been really plugging away hard. I just thought it was uncalled for. You make a move like that, you know, when you're going to win the race from it, not when you're going to just keep someone else from winning a race. And that's all he did. So just got to put that in the bank and uh, remember it. Well, I mean, I did move up the track down in, in three, but I mean, we're you know, we we're racing for a win. Uh, I thought the track was wide enough with how high people were running all the time. I mean, I did drive in there and try to give him a slide job. Absolutely. Uh, I was trying to watch both lanes, and I was uh, I was trying to win the race. I think that's what all five of us were trying to do up there. So uh, just uh, it was really disappointing. He had to tear up all our cars afterwards by wrecking my car. He wrecked the 88s and a couple other ones. So um, I never think that's very cool. But anyway, um, obviously I could have gave him a little more room, but he had a lane all the way to the straightaway there and uh, just race hard for the win. So feel bad for uh, my Home Depot guys and our general guys. They did a great job with our car tonight. And at the end of the day, I just didn't get it done for them. I, I tried, but I couldn't hold them off. Yeah, the two is mad at the 20. And so he slammed on brakes after the checkered and the 47 run into the 20. The, I, I ran into the 20. Uh, that was, I don't know what that is all about. Get, you know, get over it. <laughs> That's all I can tell. Well, you know, that's the restarts are something that we're, you know, really adamant about this year because it was definitely hurting us last year. And tonight we really didn't have a good short run car. We had a, a really good long run car or about about 40, 50 laps. It was the best car out there. I, I had a blast tonight. Uh, great short track racing here at Richmond. And to have a race car like that to drive from 25th up to the front like that was so much fun. And. Uh, you know, Joey was in the right place there. He had a good short run car, and uh, we were battling it out. Matt was making his car really super wide, and which you got to do to try to win. And, and um, you know, we were just battling hard, you know, and, and it just didn't come down the way that we needed it to. We needed a little bit longer run, but thanks to Drive In Hunger and Pepsi Max, uh, everybody at Exalta, uh, Chevrolet, we're having so much fun right now, Valvoline, and uh, just can't thank this team enough for their incredible effort and pit stops i mean everything we're just showing up at the racetrack with cars capable of winning it's just a matter of time before we do win man i, I really doubted dave they're coming down pit road for four tires with just that few laps left to go and uh just um the when the restart happened everybody kind of started shoveling to the bottom a little bit and turn one and i'm like okay fine i'm going around the top and uh, i just put it on kill out there and uh drove it like a bad mofo and uh come home third so it was Pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. A lot of guys getting into each other. Just those eight laps that those guys had on tires in front of us, you know, it looked like they had 80 laps on their tires the way I could drive through there with stickers, you know. So just uh, unbelievable day. I mean, we really did not deserve a third whatsoever, but uh, we'll take it. It's a great points day for us, and uh, we got a win. So um, we took that gamble, and uh, it almost paid off for us. You know, if those guys would have raced up front a few more laps and Joey and Jeff could have got bottled up a little bit more. I probably could have got there and then raced them for the win, but uh, they got singled out, and, um, you know, I, I couldn't chase them down after that.